That's it. We're carving our way out of here. Men. Wow. Now That's not getting you anywhere except for death, stupid. Deserter and you're a deserter. Wow. <laughs> this is better, dude. Jeez, how many people you got? Jeez. Um, somehow my mom got all the way in the corner where everyone attack him. That's annoying. I don't even know if they were. Anymore. There we go, there's one down faster now. Always take down the leader first in case that will end the fight faster. I did a lot in the beginning. Uh, or not in the beginning, in the first game. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Captain Ewald. Ooh, hopefully this will get me in the city, since I'm helping him defend. Or, uh, oh, oh, whoa. Whoa! Jeez, people. Goodness gracious. Oh, quick hit. I don't need... Oh, I was totally not paying attention to his health. Bye-bye. Should be able to make it. Perfectly fine. Still got my tank. Nah, sucker. Unbelievable. <laughs> Captain, oh, are you all right? I am. No thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. Oops. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. I like him. He's cool. Uh, the noise. That was my iPod going off. And then I threw it on my bed, but it kind of missed the bed, hit the wall, and you probably heard it's that. It's been that. three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not? Wait, I think someone's coming. Just happened to be right at that conversation, too. Hmm, what a coincidence. Leandra! Damn, girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it. And Drastic guide her. Oh, make her say She me. looks too young to Leander, be that old. Don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Um, what if I ask nicely? Uh, I'm more concerned about Mother. Can you get her in at least? No. We stay together. Huh. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, about the estate. It's, um, gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Uh. So there's... Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Um... Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? Let's go to another city. This was my home. I can't believe they won't let me come back. Every city on the coast's been hip deep in Ferelden since the Blight. 
You could try your luck further inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. We're not putting Mother through that. We came here. We're staying here. Here. We can't stay here. Sounds like fun. I don't like this idea. We don't have any choice, do we? I need to get my family into Kirkwall. I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. Holy crap. A year? Jeez. It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. Why should I trust you? Um... It's the best you can do, so what's the year? Best what you can do. <coughs> so you're selling us into indentured servitude? Slavery. That's your idea? Think of it as having a job waiting for you in your new home. Slavery. I guess it's only a year, right? <laughs> I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. Carver? What do you think about this, Carver? What can I say? Better here than nowhere. Tell me about this mercenary. Smuggler, mercenary... What kind of man is this, Miran? He's a hired sword. What do you expect him to be like? <laughs> I wouldn't bring him home for dinner or anything, but he's got a decent reputation. I wouldn't have asked him if I thought he'd cross you. A uh, smuggler. How dangerous is this smuggler's work? Well, it won't be pretty working for her. She's a pretty small fish compared to some of the other thieves' guilds around here. But she's tough, she's fair, and she never deals in slaves or flesh. Uh, I think that might be the chick in the demo. Let's find them and see what they have to say. No, that's Isabella okay, or something. I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I... Have no real option. Thank you. I don't want her to come with us. I don't like her. Uh. Uh. This way. Okay. I was facing the right direction. <clears throat> Alright. So over here is. Oh. Mer Moran. I don't want to talk to him. Just in case I get locked into something. I don't want to be... Whatever. Oh, injured. Injured. You are injured, my friend. You need to be fixed. Do I have any... Injury kit? Um... Well, no, hover back over. There. Injured of... Injury. Okay. Um, click. Oh! Ah, I did not mean to... How do I use it? Destroy... Use. How do I use it? Am I missing something? This stuff. Oh! Hold up. So you go. Ah, oh, I don't know if. I don't like that. You only get one suit of armor. You don't get the custom. Oh, wait. Hold up. Alright, now I'm just confused. I'm just confused. <laughs> Whatever. I'll figure that out later. How do I use this stuff? Double click doesn't work. Move to junk. Destroyed. That's not good. Um, drag and drop onto nothing. Health put. I know how to do the quick health and stuff, but. Oh, there it goes. Why didn't you do that before, son? And. No, that's definitely not the chick from the demo. She's a little skinny elf. Are you a Fenril? He must be Gamlin's nephew. Interesting. 
I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Uh, how much, exactly? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. So you're a smuggler. Hmm. I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. Begging and taking your pick never went hand in hand. That elf looks really out of proportion. Looks like one of those stretchy little toy things. Um. I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims, we're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. I didn't realize Gamlin had told you that much. The Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. I like her. She didn't do the whole slavery stuff. I don't want to do a merc thing, because then you're entitled to whoever you're contracting to. Um, how do you know... How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? <coughs> he owes us after that last big idea. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. Alright. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard, but you can. Get our money from him and you're in. 